Question number 96. During which of the following phase homologous pairs of chromosomes separate, but there is no splitting of centromere? Metaphase 1. The alignment of chromosomes at the equatorial plate. Metaphase 2. No. Splitting of centromere takes place in the anaphase. You may be knowing about it. In anaphase 1, there is a separation of homologous chromosomes, but no splitting of chromosomes. And in anaphase 2, there is a splitting of... In anaphase 1, there is separation of the homologous chromosomes, but there is no splitting of the centromere. In anaphase 2, there is splitting of the centromere. So, anaphase 2, similar to the mitotic anaphase, where there is splitting of the centromere. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. This question is important from your examination point of view also because in exams, it has been asked many times. Let's move to the next question. Question number 97. Cell B, a meiotic product of cell A has 16 chromosomes and 30 picogram of DNA. What would be the chromosome number and amount of DNA respectively in cell A at G2 phase? Okay, this is very interesting question. So, this is cell A. It's a meiocyte. It undergoes meiosis. It forms cell B. Cell B is haploid, of course, because it has formed from meiotic division. Now, cell B has 30 picogram DNA and 16 chromosomes. Now, the question is asking about the cell A that in G2 phase, what would have been the amount of DNA and number of chromosomes in G2 phase of cell A. See this, if you draw this cell cycle, this is G1, S, G2, M1 and M2. So, after M2, you have got this. Now, if after M2, the DNA content is 30 picogram, then of course, in M1, it would have been 60 picogram. In G2, it would have been 120 picogram because there's reduction in the DNA content after M1 as well as M2. In S2, it would have been 120 picogram and in G1, it would have been 60 picogram. Now, what about the chromosome number? The chromosome number, if after M2, it is 16 chromosome number, I just said that the chromosome number reduces in the M1 only. So, after M1 also, it would have been 16 only and after G2 or in the G2 stage, it would have been 32 chromosomes. S phase, 32 chromosomes. In G1 also, 32 chromosomes. Is there any option which is matching with this that in G2 phase, the DNA content is 120 picogram and the chromosome number is 32. So, these two options are ruled out and the correct option should be the third one. Now, you can easily count it how because when these types of questions are asked in which the content of DNA in the chromosome is given in the haploid cells and asked in the G2 phase, just multiply the DNA content into 4 because whatever the DNA content is present in the meiotic products, it would have been 4 times in the G2 phase and the chromosome number should be the double in the G2 phase. That's why it is half in the meiotic products. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 98, which among the given occurs in prophase of mitosis? Chromosomes are shortest and thickest in the metaphase stage. That's why the metaphase stage is the best stage to study the morphology of the chromosomes. Alignment of chromosomes at equator, no again metaphase. Bivalent formation, it occurs in the prophase 1 of meiosis. Condensation of chromatin material, yes, condensation of chromatin material takes place in the prophase. Hence, the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's see the next question. Question number 99, RER is frequently observed in the cells which are actively involved in A and B. Fill the blanks with suitable option for A and B. RER is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and it is observed in the cells which are actively involved in protein synthesis and secretion. So, 
not the lipid synthesis because lipid synthesis is related to the ser or the smooth endoplasmic reticulum detoxification of drugs is also done by the ser so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 100 fluid nature of cell membrane is related to some functions like cell growth of course formation of intercellular junctions endocytosis also protection of cells from mechanical injury it's a function of cell wall not of cell membrane so a c and d so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question question number 101 